Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our Chevy Malibu and this goes for Chevy Impalas as well. They're very similar. In today's video, a simple step-by-step -step on how to install those brake pad clips into your calipers. Here's our brand new caliper and it is a spitting image of the old one from here. We will secure the brake pad clips and install the pads. Next thing I do is I position the new caliper in the same position as the old caliper and then I study how the clips are installed in the old one. And after getting a good idea of the old one, I pop out one brake pad, preferably closest to the piston. Next, I will shift it to the side right here and I've already got one clip installed. An important step to take in the event that you try to put your clip inside your caliper and it's not fitting. I want to show you something. Compress your slides like this that will give you much better clearance to insert this clip. And take a look at how my caliper is positioned with the coil spring portion up at the top. And basically this caliper is upside down. Next, grab your clip and position it like this with the flat surface on the left and the indents for the brake pads as shown here. Carefully insert it in place. And once you get it in place, you can clip it into the actual caliper. And the most important thing is properly aligning these clips with the indent shown right here by my thumb. And that little brace portion of the clip rests on this flat portion here. And that straight edge that we just showed you that was on the left-hand side, that is actually down in the gap between this portion and here. And you may need to pull up on this. I'm doing my best to get a good camera angle and make sure both clips are secured and they should look like that. Before inserting the pads, take note of the design. These have your wear clips on them and these do not. And referencing the old pad I removed from the clips closest to the piston, they have your wear clip. So we will grab this one, position it properly down in the slot and shift it into place where it rests against the piston. I'll need both hands. Make sure you install the pads properly as shown here.